Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of our Revenant playthrough here on Guild Wars 2. I'm having a great day, hope you are as well. Look at our hairdo, don't we have some sick hair going on? Did a little bit of changing of my character, because we got this, like, free character pack thingy. I think it was for the 10-year anniversary um, stuff, uh, and I finally got around to actually checking it out, and we got this cool, like blade thing going on so i decided to keep the color scheme we had the option to change like everything about our character if we wanted so i decided to go ahead and change the hair uh kept it white and stuff the monochromatic black and white theme was pretty cool but i did change my eye color to be kind of this golden and i really actually dig what it looks like i think it looks really really cool i'm really actually really happy with like the way this guy has turned out uh now with the updates my spikes go with my spikes that are in my my back. Um, and as you can tell, we're level 31, so we got the personal story to get into. Promotions sent to Centurion. In recognition of your exemplary performance to date, your legion has promoted you to Centurion. Congratulations, soldier. But don't celebrate too hard. We don't celebrate here. Because if you do, if you celebrate, you leave yourself open to attack, and then you'll be killed. This is not a ceremonial promotion. Higher rank means higher expectations, more responsibility, and more important duties. Starting now, I have your first assignment waiting. Report to me in my office as soon as possible for your orders. Got it. One more personal note. Let me say how glad I am to have another fighting soldier among the brass. Welcome aboard. Ritlock Brimstone, Blood Legion Tribune. Cool. Uh, peace be with you. And then the Restless Ghosts, it's just a dungeon thingy. Uh, I've never done a dungeon before. So we should uh, maybe at some point try that out uh i've just i've never done it don't really have any a group of friends to do it with and so i honestly i know there's the group finder so you can kind of do it with rando people so i should give that a go let's see where are we going we're going to his office ah okay right here cool let's do this thing well i hope you guys are having a great day because I'm having a beautiful day. Also, we're level 31, which means we have this. Uh, I decided to go down the demon route just because I don't know. I like that demon idea. It's it kind of this pulsing torment thing that you do. Like you turn this on and you just start pulsing around like this. You start pulsing uh, and it drains this a little bit. And uh, I I like this idea because it reminds me a lot of uh my necromancer and i'm used to that play style where you turn into your dude and you do pulsing torment and a bunch of aoe type stuff that's what it reminds me of all right ritlock what you got to say listen close centurion we've got a serious problem and you're already involved the orders of tyria have come to me about one of your soldiers how the brazen howl's dead sir he died fighting Duke Baradin. I've seen his grave. Yes, and before he died, Hal apparently bought a dangerous magical amulet from the necromancer Risa. Where the amulet goes, the undead follow. Risa's been distributing them all over the region. The Order wants to examine Hal's amulet to see what they're up against. The High Legions want to forge a working relationship with the Order's. So you're going to join their investigation. Reps from the Vigil, Durman Priory, and the Order of Whispers will meet you at Hal's grave. Confer with all three, but focus on the one most likely to get results. Got it? Yes, sir. Hal is one of mine. I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. Oh, they fixed my lips. My lips used to be so, so immaculate, and now no longer. Darn. That stings. Okay, so we gotta go to Howl's Grave. Let's go disturb Howl's Grave. That sounds like a fun thing. Uh, over here. Teleport. I'm really glad that teleporting around doesn't hardly cost a thing. Like, 27 copper to teleport is not that much. I mean, I got 8 gold. I'm rolling in it. I've been playing a lot of New World recently, actually working on doing... A, it's a different style of video, honestly. It's more of a comparison review type video. And I gotta say, I the changes they've already made the New World prior to this update that's coming out has 
really made me like the game a lot more. Already off to a good start, arguing. Welcome, Centurion. Glad to have you with us. I am Yahala Scribepaw of the Durman Priory. My colleagues are... I don't need you to speak for me. I'm Gaunt Towerbreaker of the Vigil. Glad to have another military mind on this mission. I am Korakon, concerned blacksmith from the Order of Whispers. We specialize in covert activity, information, infiltration, and assassination. I'm sure Tribune Brimstone briefed you, but to review, all three orders are dedicated to stopping the Elder Dragons. Your late bandmate may be connected. I understand the mission parameters. Howl's grave is right there. What are we waiting for? See? That's how a military mind works. Identify the problem, attack it head on. None of this sneaking around, talking things to death. We were waiting for you, Centurion. There's a complication between us and the objective, namely a throng of undead grubs. You can't beat undead grubs. And since this used to be a bandmate of yours, we thought it prudent to wait before we dug him up. Now that you're here, though, let's start squatching. Squish, squash, I was taking a wash. Okie dokie, we're going to be killing these little dingbats here. I absolutely love it. Let's just do the old pull every single one. Come here, you come in right. Boom, there. And uh, and then we're trying out the sword, which is kind of... Whoa! I did a ton of, like... Ooh, let's do... Let's try this uh, pulsing torment stuff. Ooh, I kind of like it. That's kind of fun. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, dude, I have so much. Why do I have so much, uh. Stuff? Like, why'd this go up to 70? Bro, I don't know, but let's dig up Howl. Hey, um. Hey, Howl? Your grave's broken, my guy. Is he gone? No amulet here. There isn't even a body. Either someone dug up your friend, or he dug himself out. If gone here wasn't so humorless, I might say this is a dead end. <laughs> Go hammer your anvil, blacksmith. The adults are talking. Look, our objective hasn't changed. We still need to secure one of those amulets. I'm afraid I must leave that to you two. Without the amulet in hand, I need to confer with my colleagues before the Priory can commit a course of action. We have the Necromancer's records. We know the location of at least two more of Riza's trinkets. I say we start in Durger's homestead. Me and my fellow blacksmiths do a lot of business there. We have valuable contacts at the location that we can't afford to lose. Scorch what your associates can't afford. The people of Snowdrift Haven have already been attacked, and they need our protection now. You can't save every run, Crusader. And since our new friend here can't be in two places at once, who are you going to protect, Centurion? And the first decision is made. Decide how to proceed. My gosh, you guys are on top of each other. All right, let's see. K Blacksmith, what do you have to say? Norn called Clayce and Durger's homestead as one of Reese's amulets. So far, the place hasn't been attacked, and we intend to keep it that way. You in. I'm not sure. Let me talk to, uh, I want to talk to the scribe paw lady, but this guy seems to be more up the alley of my dude. Snowdrift Haven has already been attacked. The records show an amulet there. No need to get fancy. We go in, find it, secure it. Interested. I think I'm going to go with him, um, mainly because my Necromancer has already done the Whispers path, and so I want something a little bit different. And this guy seems to fit, like, alongside my character. Uh, let's see, we get some nice pauldrons here. Precision condition damage, precision uh, power, toughness, vitality. Uh, I guess we'll just do power for now, just because it's easier to deal with. And let's get out of here. Well, that kind of stings. My dude, my, my bandmate got like wrecked in his own grave. What is this? Eight slot invisible bag. 
Okay. It seems a little strange, but oh, that I've already got that. Don't need this. Okay, okay. Whoa. We're going all the way over here to Shiver Peak Mountains. That's crazy. Okay, uh, I guess we need to get to a gate somehow. Undead infestation. So, uh, interesting. I guess I'll have to follow the pathway to figure out how to best get there. Um, okay. Interesting, interesting. It's probably going to lead me through... Um, what's that main lion's arch? Uh, that's probably, it's probably going to lead me through there since that's like the main connecting hub. I also don't know. Decade armor smith. Oh, we're going over here. Okay. Oh yeah. I bet this is the, the portal thing. What the? Yeah, this guy. All right. Where's this go? Yep. Lion's arch. Bada bing, bada boom. Lion's Arch in the room. Ah, uh, the first time visiting Lion's Arch and having that extra long load screen. Oh, you just gotta love it. You just gotta love sitting here for a full minute and a half. Ah, uh, just to be able to see this finely rendered video that's just a little bit lower quality than you would like. Oh, yes, I love the pixelation. It's just glorious. I mean, look at that. Just the slight fuzz that goes on with everything. Oh, high quality. I absolutely love it. All serious no seriousness, though. Lion's Arch is a pretty cool area. But, you know, as I was saying, I have been uh, playing New World and been I'm, I'm trying to I want to try and do like a little bit of a comparison um, because they're doing a update here shortly. I think it's supposed to be in October. That is going to entirely revamp. Is it or do it? Where are we going? There's no way this goes to where. All right. For some reason, it is taking me through the human area, which I mean, is fine, but huh. Okay, I'm not really sure why it's taking me through this human area. I mean, I, I guess there's maybe not a direct portal. Which way do we need to go? This way? I would imagine this is the correct way. Seems like this path leads up to here and this will lead us over to here. Maybe. We'll have to see. Um, but I've been wanting to do a comparison video of the first 25 levels. Hello, Earth Elemental. Uh, uh, in New World before and after their big update that's coming out and uh i'm actually really digging already what they've done previously to this uh game to the game to make it better than the initial launch um okay so we do just need to go straight up that way gotcha and it's actually like what i'm definitely going to be doing another series on it actually doing a playthrough of it because i'm actually really really enjoying the changes they've made prior to when i played it uh, at launch um and so i i don't know if you guys are interested in that type of stuff or not in new world itself but for any of you who watched my guild wars 2 videos uh it's another mmo that i'm wanting to try out i've been i've been really liking the just like the cash casualness of the mmo series um it's just really nice to be able to just kind of log on play for a bit and this one is nice guild wars is particularly nice because it's kind of just like i'm trying to take this more as like a casual way of playing rather than doing a i don't know rather than like showing the full leveling process i'm just like yeah i'm just gonna level the the next story and just kind of do this as like a story playthrough rather than doing it as I guess I should probably do this but whatever I'm gonna follow that upper pathway got it oh 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 let's get up there and so I mean I, I hope you guys are fine <laughs> fine with that it's I'm not gonna necessarily what the get up there you stupid Walter come on now I'm not going to necessarily be changing what uh, I'm going to be doing with this, but um, 
I hope you guys have at least been enjoying. It's a different way, I guess, for me to do videos because the story seems like the main thing that's interesting. I don't necessarily think doing hearts is super interesting. This is cool concept art. I like this. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. And then I don't know what to do once we reach like max level and stuff. But let's talk to this Crusader Crusader Gone Tower Breaker. It's worse than I thought. The Haven's already crawling with undead creatures. We need to clean them out. Agreed. But what about the amulet? It's easier to search a dead body that isn't moving. Let's go. Accurate. Nice pan over. Whoa. Those are all sorts of dead guys. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I do not condone death becoming a thing that is just happening. No, 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 no. What the heck? My mouse just did some like crazy nonsense. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. That was insane. What in the world? I swear, this class is not tanky. This amulet of Rhesus was able to summon more than just undead grubs. I don't like this. Howl's grave was empty. How could he be out there right now, leading an undead attack on some other haven? Maybe, but right now, our top priority is to get this amulet back to the Citadel. The sooner we understand how it works, the better. Agreed. With all three orders pitching in to study the amulet, we can figure out how to destroy it. Or at least, how to deactivate it. Studying is for scholars and spies. They can do whatever they like with Reza's amulet after we secure it someplace where it won't cause any more trouble. Regroup with Ritlock. Like, my... Are these flies actually, like, attacking us? Golly, that was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Why? Oh, I can exit this. Okay. Why was that so? I swear, this class does not feel. I mean, I know I've got. I'm doing power and I'm not doing like any sort of tankiness. But why does it feel like I die almost like instantly, even facing simple things? I just don't understand. It just seems so weird. I, I, I don't know. And it could be that I just am sucking at playing this character. <laughs> it could very much be that. But it just seems so... I don't know. Oh, I'm level... No, I'm level 31 still. All right. Let's do this. And then that's probably going to be where we wrap it up. And then we'll continue in the next episode. But let's see what this is talking about. And you know, it may be, uh, I, it's probably that my armor is also just not good right now. Uh, I haven't necessarily gotten any real new armor. Um, that is, let's see, what what is my armor right now? Uh, no, not inventory. We want hero. What's my armor level? 14. Okay, that's a level 30. That's not bad. 20, 21, 20, 20. Yeah, so my armor is pretty much just garbage right now too. So that's probably not helpful. I honestly should probably try and buy some that's a little bit better reporting in tribune we have one of the necromancer's amulets now we just need to figure out how to deal with it top priority researchers are standing by to determine how the amulet works and more importantly how to neutralize it my resources say the Inquest has already completed their research on one of these amulets. Why waste time repeating their efforts when we could just acquire their results? I don't trust the Inquest methodology. This is too important not to handle ourselves the right way. You scholars and spies know more about the right way to collect data. The Vigil will be standing by when there's action to be taken. It's your call, Centurion. 
Do you want to assist the Order of Whisperer's retrieval mission or the Priory research effort? I think I agree with the Priory. I understand this dude saying, like, less work for us. But the Inquest is also a bunch of buttholes, so... Knowledge is the greatest treasure. Is it? Is it really? What about love? I thought love was a good treasure, too. Trusting Inquest results seems like a problem. So let's go ahead and not trust them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mace. Hmm, do I want the sword or do I, I want the mace? A step or two. So what is this? This is the leap do, does damage. Would down you down be problem. quiet? Oh, I'm sorry. My gosh. Was I talking over you? you can what just a wombat. Post, uh, let's see. I don't necessarily like the axe because of this ability. So maybe we it's do possible. a sword, double sword play. We'll try it out. I'm honestly open. Uh, I'm, I'm inevitably working towards the great sword. That is my end goal, to be honest. I, I, it's probably not like good to go into it thinking I'm working towards this and this is the, the, what I eventually want to get to, but I just, I just like great swords. Maintenance oil, gain concentration equal to 2% of your precision. Enhancement, journey tuning, 10% experience from kills, simple sharpening, 10% and gain power. I'm just going to do that. Oh, and we get a die. How nice. Did we get points at all hero points what die did we get green shade i have so many dang green shades and it's kind of obnoxious i i swear 261 281 okay we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this is that better or worse technically worse but nah, i don't really care maybe we'll get something good from this and negative did not get anything good. I guess we got a steel harvesting. That's better than our copper one, so we can get rid of that. What do you guys do with the copper heart, like the, the tools and stuff? Like, do you try and use them up and be efficient with it? Or do you not care and you just like destroy them? Because I've got things here that I can't just, I can't get rid of. Like I can get rid of this and this and this and this, but I can't get rid of this. So what do you do? with that stuff do you just get rid of it because that's what i've been doing i've just been destroying it if i can't use it but y'all i think that's gonna have to do it for this episode next episode we're gonna be continuing the personal story and i hope you guys are looking forward to that i am having a wonderful wonderful time playing this game absolutely loving it loving this approach also to just sticking to the hero to the like story for the videos and then being able to play the 10 levels of leveling up in my off time it's just a nice I don't know it's nice it's not it's nice not having to like necessarily feel like i need to show y'all everything because i know y'all probably don't care that much about me feeding cows but it's fun and entertaining for me to do so i will uh next episode we're going to continue as i said and i think between now and then i'm going to try to maybe source out some uh, better gear just because um that would be handy dandy um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Guild Wars 2. Bye-bye. Uh,